Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So today's video is the last series of Durga Puja makeup look that is this is the Nobumi makeup look I've done and if you're interested please watch this video till the end and before that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new update from my channel so without further ado let's dive right into the video so as usual i've prepped my skin and for today's video i'm going to use my benefit pore professional pore primer so i'm just gonna use it on the usual area that is on to my t-zone And for foundation, I'm going to use my holy grail product that is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Cashew. And this is completely full coverage and it doesn't oxidize and also it is completely transfer proof and non-drying also. And for concealer, I'm going to use my Fit Me Concealer in the shade 30 Honey and this is a perfect match for me. Now for contour, I'm going to use this Fit Me Concealer in the shade 50 Cafe. my fit me pow loose powder in the shade 20 light medium this is the powder can you see it so now just you know apply it where I have concealed For bronzing purpose, I'm going to use this palette. This is the Maybelline Master Contour Palette in the shade 20, medium to deep. For blush, I'm gonna use the same blush from this palette, this blush, this, this shade. Now I'm just gonna spray my face with this setting spray. This is by NYX and I'm just gonna spray my face with it. 
now um, with my with the help of my sponge I'm just gonna blend everything with in place. Now let's start with the eyebrows first and I'm gonna do it off camera very quickly and I'm gonna use my holy grail product that is the NYX micro brow in the shade espresso. Now it's time for eyes and I'm gonna use my current obsession or actually current favorite not obsession so my current obsession the wet and wild eyeshadow palette this is in the shade vi purple and i'm gonna use this brown shade as my transition shade So I thought to do a halo eye look for that I have applied that same transition shade onto this area on the inner corners of my eyes and also on the outer half of my eyes. Now I'm gonna apply a loose powder on this area just to prevent any kind of fallout. Now I'm gonna use this golden shade here. This golden shade with the help of my fingers. And I'm gonna apply it on the middle. Now I'm going to blend everything in place. This is a Pack 093 flat brush and with the help of this one, I'm just going to draw my lower lash lines. Now with this pack 203 pencil brush, I'm just going to take that same golden shade. and So this is how my eyes are looking right now and now let's move on to my kajal and for that I'm going to use my favorite kajal that is the Faces Canada gel kajal. So this is the kajal, this is the Faces Canada gel kajal and I'm going to use it on my lower waterline. Now with the same smudger, I'm just going to smudge it very slightly. Now I'm going to use my NYX Epic Ink Liner in the shade black to line my eyes. So this is how my eyes are looking so far and I just love 
how it's looking right now now it's time for mascara and as you know i'm I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my mascara off camera quickly just to save time and I'm gonna use my holy grail product that is the too faced better than sex mascara and that said this is how my eyes are looking and this mascara is just awesome and I'm in love with this one so now let's brush off the excess powder and for highlighter I'm gonna use this one this came free with the Becca primer and the Becca highlighter so this is their Becca highlighting samples and it has three shades chocolate sea pop and opal so i'm gonna use sea pop that is the champagne pop so let's just use it so this is the champagne pop this one here and i'm just gonna take it using my fingers and And with the help of that pencil brush, I'm just gonna apply it to highlight my brow bones. I can't tell. I mean, this is so blinding. I just love it. I'm gonna buy this champagne pop next for sure because I thought it would be peachy and pinkish for my skin tone but it's not it's looking really good it's looking even better than moonlight i must say that so now it's time for my setting spray and as you know i'm gonna use my trusty this is the nyx dewy finish setting spray and i'm gonna spritz it on my face Now let's apply lipstick and for that I am really confused. Should I use Ruby U or I should use Bauze? I don't know. What should I do? Let's use both of them. Now I'm going to use Smashbox pause over it I don't know why it's looking so orangey it's not actually it in person it is not at all orangey it is rich red which looks really good and you know if you are planning to uh, go outside you have to wear your mask and for that this smashbox liquid lipstick is a very good option because this lipstick is completely transfer proof so that's it this is the finished look so far i'm gonna wear my outfit and do the rest of my face and hair and i'll be just back so this is the final look i've added this wonderful jewelry with this beautiful sari and i really hope that you have enjoyed this video thoroughly if you did please give it a big thumbs up and share my video as much as you can and share your thoughts in the comment box below that would be great i really love reading your messages your comments everything and you can find the product details and my social media details in the description box below so do check that out so i shall see you in my next video love you guys bye bye